Hello, my food followers, followers, subscribers are just passing through. This is Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. Cooking good. Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. Finger licking good. Welcome to Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. I have a delicious salad today. And I have some grilled tar um, wheat tortillas to go along with it. So, my husband prepared this dish and I'm really excited about it. So, how are you guys doing? Where are you located? Um, I'm in uh, West Africa time. So, it's, uh, I think it's a little after 12. I don't have the exact time. Let me just double check and see the time here. The time here, the time here. And that means that it's going to be um, earlier on the West Coast, California time. Let's see what time is it here. 12.56 p.m. Ooh, they're still asleep. They're still asleep. So, um, update on Hurricane Ida, who decides to go down to New Orleans and knock the transmitter into the river. They're still without lights. So, if you still want to donate, you can. www.queensofafricausa.org www.queensofafricausa.org You can donate um, securely with PayPal, or you can sell to Queens of Africa USA at gmail.com. Now, Sunday was the anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Now, what people don't know, Hurricane Katrina did some damage, but it wasn't Hurricane Katrina that flooded New Orleans. <clears throat> the levee broke. Levees broke. They hadn't been kept up, so <coughs> excuse me. They um they broke from wear and tear, and that's what flooded New Orleans, not the actual hurricane itself. And with this particular hurricane, she just came bowling in like a big ball of shot caller, and um at 150 miles per hour, tearing up, you know, uh, uh power lines, knocking them down, flipping houses. Um, and just took up the whole transmitter and just threw it into the river. So they've been trying to find a way to get that off the river. So therefore, the lines of communication is down. So let me show you this delicious salad that my husband prepared. Okay, it's a delicious salad. It has some chicken in it. So if you're vegan, you don't have to um, um, have the chicken. So we have some grilled wheat tortillas, okay? And you can have it with cheese or without cheese. See that beautiful salad? See that beautiful salad? There you have it. And it has um, tomatoes, a really good um, dressing, vinaigrette uh, chives dressing, onions, cabbage, carrots, all the goodness. So I'm gonna like say my blessings and bless the food. Okay. Dear God, please bless this food. We're about to eat in Jesus' name. Purify because we don't know what I'm eating. I don't know what I'm eating. And bless the hands that prepare it in Jesus' name. Amen. My mom always say, you never know, you know, where your food is coming from and the hands that's over your food. So bless everything while you're eating. Okay, but anyway, that's what's going on with um, New Orleans at this time. Now in California, my other home, they're trying to pass a bill to force people to take a vaccine. Oh my goodness, California. You were trying to stir up a war. Um, everybody can't take the vaccine. Some people have health issues. Some people think if they take the vaccine, that's going to protect them. But actually, it's the opposite. If your immune system and your body is not up to par, your organs, the vaccine can um, 
not agree with what's going on in your body and, you know, cause certain things to happen that won't make you feel good. Let's just put it that way. Because the, some people take the vaccine and they're fine. If you're in the military, they take vaccines all the time because they have to travel. But certain people cannot take a vaccine. Pregnant women cannot take a vaccine. People that have a compromised immune system with diabetes or um, kidney failure or whatever, they stroke, um, heart failure, um, their body may not be able to receive the vaccine. So you definitely want to consult with your physician to make sure um, the vaccine is going to possibly agree with your body. I'm not a physician um, and I can't tell you uh, what to do and not to do, but you have to do what you feel as though is going to be best for you and you want to make sure you do your search and go to the CDC website and read up on the vaccine. But California and states that's trying to force people to take the vaccine, keep in mind, everybody can't take a vaccine. This, that's just point blank. That's why you have certain waivers with your doctor and some, you know, with the religious. Now they're trying to kick the religious out the door, but whatever is in the vaccine um, and it doesn't agree with your religious beliefs, you know, that's a stance that um, you can have to help you with. But anyway, pray anyway on taking the vaccine and make sure you get your body in shape and eat healthy. So we're out eating salad today and um, juicing. Juicing really helps prep your body and help your organs. Sea moss. Um, eat ginger, lemon, oranges, pineapples, alkaline your body. Um, drink. You can also make your own alkaline water. So you just want to make sure that you're eating healthy. And if you struggle in those areas, because I even myself, I struggle in that area because I love to eat. But um, I don't just eat no anything. I don't eat anything. But I do love to eat. But anyway, with that being said, let's just dive on into this delicious salad that my hubby prepared for me. Queen Mama Lena's Kitchen. Queen Mama Lena's Kitchen. Queen Mama Lena's Kitchen. Cooking good. Let's see how this delicious salad tastes. Okay, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Hold up, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, here is the delicious salad. Here is the chicken. Here's some chicken. You know, I like turkey as well. You can put some, cut up some turkey butts and put in your salad. Turkey butts have really, really good flavor. So let's just dive on in and try this delicious salad. It looks good, huh? Yep, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Crunchy. I've got the carrots going on with the crunch. And... It's tasty. And I'm going to eat some of the tortilla. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get off and go back to work because I'm working on the menu with Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. Um, babe, close the door, please. I can hear you over here. Please, thank you. Queen, not too hard because then they'll pick up in the camera. Um, go back to work in the Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen. And go ahead and, um, um, uh, mm, excuse me. Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen, working on the menu. Oh, good news. There's a great possibility we're going to be on Bolt. Bolt Delivery Food Service is like DoorDash. Um, I've been on DoorDash. And we're going to be on possibly Bolt coming about. So anyway, 
for just checking in. I want to say hi. And thank you for watching Queen Mama Lena's Kitchen. Like, share, subscribe. Um, what else? You can follow me on YouTube, Queen Mother Elena's Global Enterprise, and on Instagram, Queen Elena's Global Enterprise. Okay? Always be humble, kind, and nice, and giving. It makes you feel good. Have a great day, and I love you guys.